<laughs> not mixing <laughs> real things with a really horrible accusation. Can you look? We didn't need realm at all. Yeah, no, realm is useless. Look at this. This is great. We're getting more stuff. This didn't even happen last time. <laughs> Welcome back to the Super Spears Brothers. My name's Fishhead. I'm Bulbous Testicle. <laughs> you have to say it like that, not just Bulbous Testicle. Can bulbous you... Testicle. Oh, can, weird can, can you do it like a, with a with a Q? I think it would feel better with a Q. Like it's silent Q. But like, okay. No, like 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 Bulbous Q Testicle. Bulbous Q Testicle. That changes how you say it. <laughs> I'm a Bulbous Q Testicle. We're, we're off Martin Luther King, okay? No, no, I'm not doing a racial thing. This is this guy is a boxing promoter who's. Oh, okay. He's actually a South African. This just happens to be his accent. Okay. I'm Bulbous Q Testicle, and this is going to be the battle of the ages—a bigger battle than there has ever been, even a bigger battle than my mom giving birth to me, and I was born. Born at 72 pounds, yes I was! Born at 72 pounds, and I hated her! I hated her so much! I came out punching! That's right, that's The right. nurse hated me almost as much as I hated my And so we're now we're against this 12 rounds with the, with the fallouts and knockouts and other stuff like that between me you and my mom! You don't know about Martin Fletcher Boxing, do you? <laughs> Is this like a nuclear boxing match? <laughs> nuclear boxing match? <laughs> like, like a nuclear family? Yeah. Or do you mean that they're using nuclear missiles? You know what? Whatever floats your boat. Well, water. well, my boat is... I'm on fire tonight! <laughs> Don't give me that water I just mentioned! I'm on my game! I'm on my game! <laughs> Dislike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I haven't been as rambunctious and annoying lately as necessary. So like, I'm, in life? I'm, yeah. Because so that's my, true. I'm upping my game. That's true. Um, no, but, okay, so you're making a movie yes. about Spider-Man. Yes, I you, am? You may, yes, you are! Oh, shit, I'm gonna get to work. <laughs> Don't bother... Don't bother, there's no funding in it. Oh, okay. Yeah, who would put money into Spider-Man? I don't know, at this point, I don't know. <laughs> Apart from, yeah, like... Yeah, Marvel. <laughs> wow, this is marvelous! Yeah. Um, but, but Mysterio, right, he's got a built-in thing. He makes uh, optical illusions and, you know, you using... You some really crazy scale crow shit with that. Yeah, exactly. You could... Uh, but it doesn't even have to be scary. It could be, like... Like, you could bring back Uncle Ben's rice, and you could make, like, a nice yeah. dinner, and then while you're making that, you could think of all different ways that, um, uh, you aunt, your aunt may help you write the, uh, yeah, the, yeah, the, the movie. The movie. Um. She's a writer. Uh, and then you wouldn't want a black cat to cross your path, because, um, you're smoking too much Mary Jane, and you're... Too much Mary Jane! You're high as a vulture. The vulture! The vulture! Why isn't he in a movie? <laughs> the Vulture would be a weird movie villain because he's like an old, cranky old man. Yeah. Who's like physically weak but has like special augmentations. Augmentations. Of something. I don't know. I remember when I first got my special augmentations. That was the last time I saw my wife alive, but we had a lively night. <laughs> was he alive or was his wife still alive? And was she killed through furious sexing? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's right. Fur furious old man, old woman sex. Oh, the best kind. Oh, Henry, I've never seen you so erect before. That's because of my special augmentations using the same technology that we build all kinds of advanced technocratic electrostatic motors. That's right. I connect it's an electrostatic motor. That's all it is. And I've attached it to my wing. <laughs> My favorite band about penises. You know my favorite thing with the new Spider-Man? We old, are a bunch of dicks. The old Spider-Man movie? The new old Spider-Man movies? Which one is... The what middle we, ones. Which, 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 Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2 is the fact that they, the whole... People's like, okay, these movies aren't good. But they're setting up, you know, a new franchise. Oh, you're considering the middle ones to be the 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 Garfield and Friends. Yeah, the Garfield and Friends. Yeah. But the whole thing is like, we're going to sit... With, these ones were not that great, but we're doing to set up this bigger universe. And then immediately they sell to Marvel and ditch the whole continuity. Well, because the movies did badly and were bad. They did pretty well, but oh, they, they were, were bad. They didn't do great. But they sold to Marvel because Marvel was like, we See, want this and willing to give you lots of money. I consider the Sam Raimi ones to be the middle ones because my original ones, of course, are the, are the 70s ones. The oh, 70s ones. The, the, the 70s Japanese TV show? That's right. The 70s Japanese TV show. Well, he had TV a giant show. where he had a mech. That's right. Yeah, the mech is, the mech is canon. No, I think there was a 70s movie no. as well. A 70s Spider-Man movie. Not just the, uh, not just the, this is one without a mech. That doesn't make any sense to me. All you do is spider movies <laughs> without a mech.
We're talking about an atomic bomb. Lame, no mech. No this Spider-Man movie has no mech in it. That's my favorite bar from something. What would be what would be like the craziest villain to choose? Uh, like the holes guy. The, the who to opens the interdimensional holes would be I can't remember. Oh, I think about like the whole sky as a villain. <laughs> no. Like that would be a crazy villain. Oh my god. <laughs> I love that idea. Avengers. We must fight the sky. Uh, uh. In the movie, there's always a giant <laughs> hole in the sky that shoots lasers. Us. This is bolt the sky. No one will shoot lasers us anymore. That seemed like a bad idea. <laughs> I just like the idea, like especially gonna like. Uh, uh, Avengers, uh, we're gonna have to, uh... <laughs> Sam Jackson, or uh, Avengers... No, 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 that was, that, that was my, what's his name, the, um, you know, the... the, the Tony Puck? Yeah, that's right, that's right. Tony uh, Soprano? Uh, Avengers, uh, actually, you know, it's as, as played by, it's Tony Stark as played by, uh, who's the guy who, uh, uh Life, uh, Finds a Way? Oh, Jeff Goldblum. Jeff, Go Jeff Goldblum as, as the next Tony Stark? Yeah. Um, and he's like, uh, uh, Avengers, uh... We'll find a way. We're, uh, the, the sky is, uh, attacking, attacking us, and, uh, we're gonna have to, uh, uh, attack the, the sky, uh, uh, with our, uh, powers. Yeah, that's legit. <laughs> so I opened up a pathway that led me in a circle. That was what I've been accomplishing this past five minutes, is I've successfully opened a closed Welcome door. to the Floating Island episode two. Ah, <laughs> this is a dead end! <laughs> I hate the goddamn island. It's such a cool, like, place, but it's so infuriating, so confusing, so needlessly complex. And, but you know what's funny? Is we spent two minutes writing down a map, we'd be out of this, like, as li as quick as you lick a split. Lickety-split. Lickety-split, there you go. Okay, I was wondering what you would do. Oh my god, it's Apocryphus. I don't know, I don't no, know. But, I so that. what would be the craziest Spider-Man <laughs> villain? Like, like that's actually that's a villain. That's pun there, sorry. <laughs> I am a Pucker Frost. Um, the crazy, a like, the Frost? craziest Spider-Man to be in a uh, movie. Yeah, what would be the craziest Spider-Man villain? Like, uh, not, not Grace. Yeah, it has been done, hasn't it? No, but what, <laughs> I, I, what I would love to see though is like a really obscure, not particularly threatening villain. You know what my favorite Spider-Man villain is? The Chairmaster. The Chairmaster is my favorite Spider-Man villain by far, and I want to see a Chairmaster movie. I don't movie. actually. I'm don't. I actually think I have a big hole in my Spider-Man knowledge. Do you, do you, you, do you know? Because I know the Clone Wars. Yeah. Do you know the, the Chairmaster though? Because no. because the Chairmaster is actually more of a Sean baby thing than it is uh, um, anyone else. He the, the Chairmaster was in uh, was a one short one page story relating to uh, selling Hostess fruit pies. Oh, one of those guys. But but he is, in my opinion, and, and Sean Baby disagreed because he had a different one they thought was the craziest. Yeah. But my, he is, in my opinion, the craziest. Uh, is Every panel, it's like nine panels or something like that. Yeah. Every panel is crazier than the last panel, and I can remember them almost verbatim. The chairmaster it, it has turned, like the police commissioner, I think, yeah. Into a chair because he's got a chair gun that shoots people into chairs. This doesn't sound that weird. And then some kids come in, and and, and they're like, oh, the chairmaster, we better go get Spider Man. And he's like, and he's about to shoot Spider Man with the chair gun. Yeah. And Spider Man's like, oh, I can't move because he's got a gun trained on me, and it's a, if I move, you'll turn into a chair. And if I don't move, he'll turn me into. We have nothing to lose in this That's situation. What, no, he, sorry. At the beginning of the comic, he hasn't yet turned the the where we haven't we haven't seen anybody but Spider Man and the kids. Oh, okay. And, and they're like, it's gonna be infuriating for the next like fifteen <laughs> seconds. Um, no, I have a solution to this problem. <laughs> um, I wish you could fight the Doom in this game. It would be great. Um, but but so. I am Doom. Um, do no wait. Doom is Doom. Sorry, not Doom is do Yeah. Um, but anyway, so uh, Doom is life. So he's about to turn Spider-Man into a chair. Yeah. And 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 he says, unless you tell me where the antique chair chair shipment is coming in, he's like, well, which, I... which is like this guy can make anybody into a chair. Yeah. He can literally make. Oh, you're back in the beginning. Well, at least we're building up that experience again. Yeah, so we'll catch up to where we were. So, so he, he's a, he... Uh, so anyway, um, and I think there's several chair puns during the thing as well. Oh, of course there is. But he's, um... He, he got a chair committee. So, so and, and why does he need Spider-Man to tell him where the antique chair... Because well, he's a reporter. 
He knows Spider-Man's secret identity. <laughs> but what, what is he just looking up in like the, the bulletin or something like that? He like, doesn't have time to go to a newspaper stand. Or, or if it's like a... This is the 2000s, Blake. When have you ever read a newspaper? <laughs> it wasn't the 2000s then. What well, is now? Get with the times. Oh. Anyway, so... <laughs> So, but but why does he need anyone to tell him where an antique chair shipment is? Like, why, why would Spider-Man... It, it, there's so many ways in which it doesn't make sense. Like, and that's just yeah. one panel of nonsense. Yeah. And then, like, the kids come in, and the kids see the the commissioner who's, like, a chair with, like, a like a hat. Yeah, yeah. Like, a chair with a hat. Yeah, no. And... Well, on the same page. As you do. As you do. Um, and so... So they're like, and he's like, Spider Man went that way, but he can't, she can't move because he's a chair. Yeah. So he's like, Spider Man went that way. And so at this point, I'm like, so what does being turned into a chair accomplish? Like, you can't move, but you can still talk? Yeah. Can you, and you can motion to people. So, so what is the ultimate fate of being turned into a chair? Is it just kind of uncomfortable? Or, like, he didn't seem like he was in pain. And then they see Spider Man's about to get shot. So in order to stop him, they throw a couple hostess pies, they get yeah. lodged in the gun. Causing the gun to blow out backwards, yeah. which turns the chairmaster into a chair and unchairs all the other people. Okay. And they're like, "Thanks, kids. Without you and those delicious uh, hostess fruit pies, I never would have been able to get through this." And I was like, "He could have thrown anything." Or, or he could have jumped, yeah. or used his webbing, which is like his yeah, main. Yeah, well, actually, wait, he should have webbed the gun. <laughs> Why doesn't they do anything? Wait, are they implying that hostess fruit, fruit pies are filled with webbing? Well, here's the other question. How does that get you interested in wanting to eat fruit pies? They literally throw the pies, wrapper and all, into the barrel of a gun, which causes... Hostess fruit pies. Well, no, you know what? The I, chosen you... weapon of Spider-Man. Well, yeah, wouldn't you eat the chosen weapon? No, because if you eat them... Then you can't then you... use them against and then... by the chairman. And comes. you're just getting them away from Spider-Man. You should leave them in the store to where Spider-Man can get them. There we go. All right, so see you next time. We solved this problem. <laughs> Chair... The movie... Next, no, Sp Spider-Man versus the chair man. Th this should be the clone saga, and the movie should actually be 10 years long. Oh, it should be like, like it should be like a three-part saga. Yeah, of just <laughs> nonsense. And the no, no, wait, 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 wait. The, the next, the, he's going to be in like the one of the Avengers movies or whatever. Yeah. The teaser is the, it's like, <laughs> the chair like, is like, and, and, and like, we've all been foiled by hostess uh, fruit pies. Uh, we, we, uh, we defeated, we defeated the, the sky. Uh, uh, but we're we're not prepared for the uh, 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 next uh, enemy. Uh, who, 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 who uh, uh, will uh, wield chairs? Who will wield chairs? <laughs> In a distant future, where humankind has fallen, the WWE is devoid. Not a single person is ready for the matchup. Who will wield chairs? I like how you do hand gestures at the mic below the camera's view. So it's totally <laughs> useless. WWE. The post-apocalyptic movie. Starring the, uh, the Undertaker as The Undertaker. And John Cena as the guy who wins.